The next really neat feature of the 32S2 is its ability to integrate. It does numerical integration, which in some ways I find somewhat cool, being that this is what I would call a lower-end scientific calculator, but it does really well. So in order to, right here I've got uh, a Bessel function of the first kind, uh, order zero, and I want to find values of 2 and 3 for x. So I'll go ahead and enter this first into the equation. I'm not going to have an equal sign here. I'm just going to enter the expression, and I'll start with what's inside the term here. So cosine of x, so recall x, times sine of recall t. And I'm going to close off those parentheses. And then because I've got this 1 over pi term out front, I'm going to divide the entire thing by pi. Hit enter. There's my expression. And I can scroll over using the uh, buttons here shown by the enunciators to figure out, or to scroll over and see the rest of the uh, function. So I've got it entered. Now I need to set the limits. So the limits are going to be from 0, enter, to pi. That's my limits from 0 to pi. Go back to equation, and now I can evaluate it using the integral. It asks me what variable I want to integrate with respect to. Well, we're integrating with respect to t, so use t. And an x value of what? Well, let's do 2 first. Integrating and we get 0 0.2239 and that's uh, the value at x equals 2. Now let's do it for x equals 3. Now I need to set my limits again because now my uh, value in the x, x register has been replaced by my answer. So 0 to pi Go to my equation, and then let's integrate it with respect to t, and an x value of 3 now, hit run stop, and go ahead and solve that integral for x equals 3. So we get a value of negative 0 0.2601. And that should be correct. Now one other thing I should point out is because I'm doing the integration of uh, trigonometric uh, operations here, I did change my um, mode to radians, and that will change your answer. So just be sure when you integrate your uh, trigonometric functions, you're in radian mode.